Ever wondered what the difference between coins, tokens, and NFTs in the crypto world is? Welcome to the enigmatic universe of cryptocurrency, a digital realm bustling with coins, tokens, and the intriguing non-fungible tokens or NFTs. Each of these elements plays a distinctive role in this dynamic ecosystem. Today, we're setting off on an enlightening journey to explore and understand the differences between these three key categories. Intrigued? Stay tuned to learn more about these fascinating elements of the crypto universe. Let's dive in with coins first. In the world of cryptocurrency, coins hold a special place. They are the foundation, the bedrock upon which the entire crypto ecosystem is built. But what exactly are coins? Simply put, coins are digital assets that operate on their own independent blockchain. They are designed to act as a digital equivalent of money, a medium of exchange that can be used to buy goods or services. You've probably heard of Bitcoin and Ethereum. These are prime examples of coins. Bitcoin, the first and most famous of them all, operates on its own blockchain, as does Ethereum. These blockchains are like digital ledgers recording every transaction made with their respective coin. But coins are not just digital money. They are also created or mined through a process that involves solving complex mathematical problems. This is known as proof of work. Miners compete to solve these problems and the first one to do so gets a reward in the form of new coins. This is the birth of a coin, a digital asset born from computational effort. What makes coins so intriguing is their decentralization. Unlike traditional money, which is controlled by banks or governments, coins are governed by the rules of their blockchain. This gives them a level of independence and security that is truly revolutionary. So that's what coins are all about, a digital form of cash. But how are tokens different? Now let's move on to tokens. Tokens are fascinating creatures in the crypto world. While they might seem similar to coins, they're different in some key ways. They're not standalone cryptocurrencies, but rather they represent a particular asset or utility within a specific ecosystem. Think of them as tickets to a concert. The concert venue is the blockchain where the token lives and the ticket or token gives you access to a specific event or service within that venue. There are different types of tokens, each with its unique characteristics and uses. First up, we have utility tokens. These tokens give the holder a right to use a network or leverage its functionality in some way. For example, imagine a cloud storage platform that issues its tokens. These tokens could then be used by buyers to purchase storage space on the platform. It's a direct token-based economy within the platform's ecosystem. Next, we have security tokens. They're a tad more complex and are often tied to real-world assets. If utility tokens are concert tickets, security tokens are akin to shares in a company. They represent ownership in an asset like real estate or stocks. These tokens are subject to federal laws and regulations, which makes their issuance and exchange a bit more complicated. Then we have other categories like governance tokens, which allow holders to vote on decisions within a project's ecosystem, and DeFi tokens, which are used in decentralized finance applications. Tokens are versatile. They can represent anything from a service to a real-world asset, and they can be used in a multitude of ways within their respective ecosystems. Their variety and diversity is what makes them so interesting and valuable. Tokens thus provide a broader range of possibilities than coins. But what about NFTs, the latest buzzword in the crypto world? Finally, let's unravel the mystery of NFTs. These three letters, NFT, stand for non-fungible token. Unlike coins and tokens we've discussed before, NFTs are unique. This means that no two NFTs are alike. Think of them as digital fingerprints, each representing a unique entity in the digital world. Non-fungible tokens are built using the same blockchain technology that enables cryptocurrencies. However, they're designed to represent ownership of a unique item or piece of content. This could be anything from digital artwork to virtual real estate or even a tweet. Let's dive into some examples to make this concept more tangible. In the world of art, NFTs are causing quite a stir. Digital artists can now mint their artwork into NFTs, creating a unique digital token that represents their piece. This token can then be bought, sold, or traded on various platforms. When you purchase an NFT of a piece of art, you're buying a digital certificate of ownership of that artwork. The world of virtual real estate is another fascinating arena where NFTs are making their mark. In virtual worlds like Decentraland, 
You can buy, sell, and trade plots of virtual land as NFTs here. Each plot of land is unique with its own set of coordinates and features and is represented by a unique NFT. What makes NFTs so revolutionary is that they democratize the concept of ownership and value. They allow digital artists to monetize their work in ways that were previously unimaginable. They also provide a platform for unique digital assets to be traded and valued, much like physical assets in the real world. But like any revolutionary concept, NFTs come with their own set of challenges and controversies. Issues of copyright infringement, environmental impact and market volatility are all part of the ongoing dialogue surrounding NFTs. NFTs, therefore, are revolutionizing the way we perceive ownership and value in the digital world. As we continue to navigate this digital frontier, it's clear that NFTs will play a significant role in shaping the future of digital asset ownership and value. So now you know the differences between coins, tokens and NFTs. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. Coins, which are often referred to as digital cash, are primarily used as a currency. They operate on their own blockchain and are a means of transaction like the digital equivalent of the coins jingling in your pocket. Examples of coins include Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin. They're the foundation of the crypto world, the bedrock on which everything else is built. Then we have tokens, which are a step beyond mere currency. Tokens are representations of assets or utilities that exist on a particular project's blockchain. They're not just money. They can represent anything from a voting right to a share in a company to access to a service. The possibilities are as limitless as the imagination of the people creating them. They're like digital vouchers that can be used within a certain ecosystem. And finally, we have NFTs or non-fungible tokens. These are unique digital ownership certificates. They're a type of token, but with an important difference. They're not interchangeable like coins or regular tokens. Each NFT has a distinct value and specific information that sets it apart from any other NFT. It's like owning an original painting in a world of prints. With an NFT, you can truly own digital assets in a way that wasn't possible before blockchain technology. The crypto world is a fascinating place filled with innovation and endless possibilities. Coins, tokens and NFTs are just the tip of the iceberg. They're the building blocks that are enabling a whole new digital economy to rise. Remember, the crypto world is vast and constantly evolving. Keep exploring, keep learning and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting content on the world of crypto.